All right, so changing the oil on a sail drive. Now, for those that don't know, the sail drive is this bit here and it needs to be changed actually quite regularly. Now, obviously you would change it when you get a haul out, but you might only haul out once a year to do the anti-fouling. Um, but the manual actually says that the sail drive needs to have its oil replaced every 100 hours. Uh, in comparison, the engine is every 150 hours, so it's actually quite often that you have to actually change the oil in the sail drive. Anyway, there is a reason why people just do it once a year, and we're about to have a look at that. Yeah, so the reason a lot of people don't do it is because it is a bit of a, excuse the French, it's a bit of a shit job. So the sail drive is back here. Uh, the oil, I've already taken that out, but the oil can, the oil dipstick is there. So we need to use our suction pump to suck the oil out of there and then refill it through this hole here. Not a very pleasurable job. So you can probably hear that gurgling sound. Um, I pumped it for 10 minutes or so now and it sounds like it's basically getting to the end of it. So. I'll try a few different spots just to make sure. And they do say that although it might take two liters, you're not gonna get two liters back out of it by doing it this method. So. Let's have a look and see how much we actually got out. It, uh, it can be hard to see exactly how much is in there. So what I actually do is I actually put my finger on the side here and then I look through the top and I can see my finger moving up and down. It's still gonna be hard to see with the GoPro, but with the naked eye, I can see my finger moving up and down so I can basically plot where the oil is, which is about, about there. And then I can have a look and I can see that that's a bit over one and you know maybe a one and a quarter liters so like uh yeah so one and a quarter liters it says that oil capacity is two liters um but obviously you know i presume the suction thing doesn't get all the way down to the bottom um so the sail doing an oil change out of the water is still going to be the best but changing what's that 60 percent of the oil is better than nothing so and PS, Yanmar, or sail drive manufacturers, if you really want us to change the oil every 100 hours, you really should put a tube in there that leads all the way to the bottom so we can suck it all out. It's so annoying only being able to partially change the oil. Now, something else to keep in mind, when you haul the boat out and you do a fuel, full oil change, you should buy enough backup oil to last you until your next haul out. You might not find Quicksilver brand or Yamaha brand or whatever gearbox oil brand you decide to put in, you might not find that at every dealership or every channelry. So make sure you buy enough to do all of the services because remember you're only pulling out 60% of the oil so you want to put the same brand and same make of oil back in in between those major haul outs when you can change all of the oil. Um, I like to, I'll dump this oil into another container before I do the second one because I like to try and find out exactly how much oil I do extract from each engine and that's easier to do of course if the pump is empty before I start. One of the best things about a cat is the two engines, the redundancy. One of the worst things about a cat is the two engines, the maintenance. And while I'm waiting for the second engine to empty of oil, um, a good discussion point is, well, how often do you change your oil in your sail drives? If you read the forums online, then some people only do their sail drive oil every time they do a haul out, which might be every year or 18 months. Um, some people, of course, do it as the manual says. Now for Yanmars, that's every 100 hours. That's a lot of oil changes um, for your sail drive. Comment below and let us know how often you think you should do the sail drive oil. All right, now just one last tip here when we are finished with the oil suction device, whatever it's called, I like to suck a little bit of petrol through at the end and hold it up nice and high here to make sure the pipe is all clear so that you don't flick oil anywhere when you're moving the, the, the pipe around and stuff. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful. Um, it's a bit of a divert from our usual travel vlog, sailing vlog but uh, a necessary part of living on aboard a boat. Anyway, hope to catch you next time.